Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Lore of League of Legends special. This episode has been requested for quite some time, but I wanted to leave it off till the end of the main series for several reasons, which I won't be going into now. Without further ado, I present to you Trundle's original lore as the Cursed Troll. Enjoy. Trolls are one of the very few races of Valoran that have never been respected by anyone. Generally speaking, they are barbarians, cannibalistic beasts who prefer to hide from human eyes for reasons known only to them. They've stayed hidden for centuries, and most people haven't been given an opportunity to see a troll. They've just heard legends, and these legends have been getting worse with every generation telling them. What they didn't know was the structure of troll society. It was very, very similar to human society, but instead of city-states, trolls gathered in tribes that were very different to one another. Some were primitive hunters, others had been far more intelligent and sensible. Trundle's tribe was one of the latter. Even if they were primitive by human standards, they were much better organized than the other tribes. But the tribe itself has done nothing to deserve its fate. When a twisted necromancer tried to enslave the entire Rugosh tribe and use them as test subjects in his studies about the rising of the dead. Even if those trolls were not as ill mannered as their brothers, none of them were happy about the perspective of death. They decided to push the necromancer out of their land. They were cheering and celebrating, but the wizard left one final gift for them. The entire tribe was cursed with a leprous disease. Not only trolls alive at this time, but also every other troll that was ever to be born. Their flesh was constantly rotting and it would probably have rotten away if not for the natural regeneration ability. Trolls managed to balance out these two, but most of them were in great pain, almost all the time. The entire tribe started desperately looking for a cure, but to no avail. No one on the entire Valoran had heard of something like this curse, or refused to talk with a troll. Emissaries of the tribe travelled the continent in fruitless searches, while local shamans had been trying to learn old rituals that could help them. One of them, a wise old shaman, found a way, but it was not an easy one. It couldn't cure their curse, but it could transfer it from one troll to another. If only they could find a troll with a generation strong enough to survive it. It was out of the question, however. Nobody in the tribe had been able to deal with their own disease, not to mention the disease of others. It was the only hope that the entire tribe had, but it was too risky to perform. It would take an extraordinary specimen to achieve the shaman's ultimate goal. There was no such person in the entire troll race until Trundle was born. As generations passed, the trolls of the Rugosh have been suffering, but when Trundle was born, he was seemingly different. His flesh was not being eaten by the disease, he'd been regenerating it before any visible effects could occur. His regeneration would be enough to survive being a bearer of the curse. His life was not easy, he was short and looked different from the other trolls. Not only due to the lack of scars or rotting flesh, there was something weird about him. He was a very easy target for every bully older than Trundle was. He had to survive the daily routine of insults for the longest time, but as his older friends bullied him, the shamans had to prepare him for his upcoming fate. They lied to him, trying to convince him that he would be considered a true hero of trolls. They told him that everyone would remember him, his sacrifice, and he would earn the respect of everyone in the tribe, maybe even more. They would never bully him again, and Trundle relished in the thought. He was still young, very easy to manipulate. He agreed to the ritual long before he was even considered to be an adult. When he came of age, he'd been bound to a makeshift altar, surrounded by a circle of runes and shamans chanting some unusual words above them. Everyone had come to witness the ritual, and Trundle could almost hear the shaman's words that he would be a hero, a symbol. He was afraid, but not as much as he was proud of himself. He dreamed of this moment, of the adoration of his entire tribe that he would gain and never be bullied again. When the ritual was complete, however, Trundle had been rejected by his tribe. 
He went through extreme pain for them, but now he was still the weird one. He gave himself for the disease, and it was starting to eat his flesh like it did to his brothers. Whole chunks of his body were rotting and falling off, just to regenerate seconds later. He was constantly suffering. Other trolls seemed to quickly forget that they were once like that. They didn't want to watch Trundle, considering him to be disgusting. In just a few days, they'd forgotten how it was like to have your own flesh crack open and rot constantly. Instead of admiration, he'd been given hate and loneliness. He was not bullied anymore, but he wasn't sure whether he'd prefer to be. At least he had any contact with other trolls, and now they refused to talk to him, even for a short while. Only the shamans kept reassuring him that he'd done the right thing. He did not want to, his life to look like that. He left his home, heading for the Institute of War, hoping to find answers, to find a real cure for the disease. Upon getting there, however, he'd learned much more than he would have liked to. Even his sacrifice to bear the disease on himself didn't save the tribe. With the disease, their ability to regenerate had gone as well. The tribe was doomed, no matter what Trundle was able to do. He decided to stay in the League of Legends to see what he could do for himself. And that's all I've got for you this time around. Let me know what you thought of the video by hitting that like button and leaving your feedback in the comment section below. Don't forget, all champions have now been covered, so you can always click the annotation at the top of the video or the link in the description to take you to the playlist. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, I'll see you next time.